Hello everyone, welcome back to another lecture. This one is lesson five of unit one. Uh, it's about the volume of right pyramids and cones. Uh, so we talked about the surface area of each, but now we're going to talk about the volume. Um, the first step is to derive what the equation is um, to do that. So um, we'll do that, it's very, very simple. Uh, it requires the volume of a, of a box or a rectangle, essentially a cube, I should say and the volume uh, of a cylinder and deriving it from that. So um, we'll do that and we'll answer some questions. So volume of a right prism, which is essentially like a cube or a rectangle um, that has three dimensions, is the length times the width times the height. And if you were to um, take a pyramid that is the same height and has the same base area, it would take three full pyramids of water uh, to fill the right prism. So the first blank um, would be three. It would take three full pyramids of water to fill in the right prism. So that essentially means that the volume of the pyramid is one third, that is the second blank, one third the volume of the prism. Uh, prism. So we can say that the um, volume of a pyramid is equal to the base area of that pyramid multiplied by its height, not its slant height, but its height, and all divided by three. So that is a formula there. Volume is equal to the base area multiplied by the actual height of the pyramid divided by three. That is a formula that I recommend writing down in your formula sheet uh, and labeling. So that is the, for the volume of a pyramid. It is one third the volume of a rectangle or a cube, a right prism we call them, that has the same height and the same base um, dimensions. Uh, we can do a very similar thing for the volume of a right cylinder. So the volume of a right cylinder is equal to the base area, which is a circle, multiplied by the height. So therefore it is pi r squared multiplied by the height. If you're to take a cone, uh, that has the same base and the same height. Uh, it would take three, again, so that blank is three full cones of water to fill the right cylinder. Therefore, again, a cone is actually one third the volume of a cylinder of the same height and base area. So we can just take that um, volume of a cylinder and divide it by three. So the vo it is right there again. The volume of a cone is equal to the base area, which is pi r squared all of the time in this case, multiplied by the height, that is the height of the cylinder or the cone, that is from the apex to the middle of the base, divided by three, one third of that, because it takes three um, of those to fill up one pyramid. Uh, there are puzzles that you can do that kind of like put the different pyramids together to show that they do make a cube. Um, but it is one third uh, the volume of either the prism or the cylinder. So that makes it really, really easy for us to do problems now that we have these two equations. So let's go to the examples on the next page. Uh, let's see, one more. So we are going to determine the volume of the following right rectangular pyramids. Let's do that. We have lots of information here. Uh, we have the base area and we have the height of the pyramid. That is what we want to know. We don't need to know uh, what the slant height is. We don't need to bother with Pythagorean's theorem in this case. They're right there. All the information that we need is right there for us. Uh, so the height of the pyramid is 8.1. I don't know why I have this extra dot up here. Is 8.1 centimeters. Um, and then the um, base area is going to be a combination of the length and the width. So the length is 3.2 centimeters and the width is 5.4. Um, those two are kind of interchangeable. So the volume is equal to the base area multiplied by the height divided by three. We have everything we need to know. Volume is equal to 3.2 times 5.4 times 8.1 divided by 3. 
one third the volume of a cube or a rectangle or a right prism of that size uh, to go as 47 centimeters cubed. Volume is always in, in the cubed version of the unit. So in this case, centimeters cubed. Um, we'll hop right into the next example. In this case, we are given a slant height and we are not given uh, the height of the pyramid, therefore we have to figure out what that is. Um, so with that, we can draw a right triangle that goes from the apex to the middle of the base. And there is the slant height of six. So from the middle to the side is not four of that side length, it's two. So now we can find out what the height of the um, pyramid is. Uh, so we can find out what the volume is. Um, we know that we can use Pythagorean's theorem for this from the last um, lesson, or maybe a couple of lessons ago. We know that uh, the height is considered a, and a is equal to the root of c squared minus b squared, where c is always the hypotenuse or the slant height. So that means that a is equal to the root of six squared minus two squared, which is equal to, let's see. We're just gonna keep it at the root of 32, just to be more accurate with this one. Throw a wrench into it. So the height is equal to the root of 32. That's actually just a number, but if we punch it into our calculator, we get a whole bunch of decimals. So let's just keep it like that so that we can be more accurate. Um, we know that the volume is equal to the base area multiplied by the height, all divided by three. The base area is four times four, and the height we determined to be the root of 32, all divided by three. So the volume is equal to 30 inches cubed. Again, we're using the unit um, and we're cubing it. Move on to the next example. Let's see. This time we're doing um, the volume of a right cone. So we are given all the information that we need. Again, we don't need to do the slant height. We are just given the height. Uh, we have the diameter, but from that diameter we can easily find the radius. It's just a half. So the height is equal to 13 millimeters and the radius is equal to four. We know that the volume of a cone is, uh, volume of a cone is equal to the base area. The base area is pi r squared because it's a circle multiplied by the height all divided by three. So the volume is equal to pi times four squared multiplied by 13, all divided by three. So I punch in everything in my calculator into the top first, four squared multiplied by 13 multiplied by five uh, pi equals all divided by three. So the volume then uh, is equal to 218 millimeters cubed. Always cubed when we're talking about volume. Okay. And we have one question left in this lesson. The question reads, a cone has a height of four yards and a volume of 205 cubic yards. Okay, so this is a big cone, four yards. It's like 12-ish feet high. Uh, that's a very large cone. Not really sure, it's a giant gnome hat or something. And a volume of 205 cubic yards. Uh, determine the radius of the base of the cone to the nearest yard. Um, let's start writing out things that we know that are given to us because I'm not 100% sure immediately what to do. So let's just write, start listing what we know, writing down some formulas and trying to figure that out. So the surface area of the cone is given. It is, no, it's not the surface area. Huh. Good one, good one. Uh, the volume of the cone the volume of the cone is given to be 205 um, yards cubed. And we also know that there is a height of four yards. 
Let's check out our volume of a cone formula. The volume of a cone is equal to pi r squared times the height divided by three. Well, if I look at this formula, I know everything except the radius, and that's what it's asking me for. Um, that's pretty sweet. I know what the volume is, it's 205. I know what the height is, it's four. The number three is just a number, pi is just a number. If I can get r all by itself using some algebra, I can find out what it is. So I'm going to start by plugging in my numbers and then rearranging. It's just how I'm more comfortable doing it. So the volume is 205. This is equal to pi times r squared times h, which is four, and that's all divided by three. So let's start by, um, let's, let's move the three out first. If it's on the bottom on one side, we're gonna need to multiply and make it on the top on the other. So we've got then three times 205 is equal to pi r squared times four. We then need to get the r squared all by itself, so we'll divide by pi and four. So that would be three times 205 divided by pi times four is equal to r squared. And then to get rid of the squared, we need to square root it. So let's do that. r is equal to the square root of three times 205 divided by pi times four. We already have all our numbers plugged in. Um, so we can just type that into our calculator now. Or what you can do is you can rearrange from here. Without the numbers plugged in, rearrange the variables and then plug your numbers in and we'll get the exact same answer. Just all depends on what you are more comfortable with. Uh, we plug that in, the radius is then equal to seven. Seven what? Seven yards. And we're talking about a single dimension. We're not talking about a volume or a surface area. So it is just seven yards. Uh, I do believe that, that is everything for this lesson. Uh, you have a exit slip and lots of do nows to do in your booklet. So get to those uh, and we'll see you next time for lesson 1.6.